What's up guys, JT over at Team FAS Motorsports and today we're going to be unboxing and installing some Thumper Fab uh, stock bumper lights. Uh, it's an add-on bracket kit with two lights for the front of the Polaris Ranger. Uh, any of the Rangers that come with the factory winch bumper. So we'll go ahead and uh, unbox this and uh, before we get into that, if you guys can go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and uh, drop us a comment right below. So uh, in the box here, you have a hardware kit, which is basically a wiring harness, uh, a nice L-series switch, which is what are in the uh, Rangers, so everything will match nice, plug and play, goes right into your bus bar. Uh, what else we have here? Some instructions. This is an extremely easy install, um, you know, especially with the plug and play. It just makes everything pretty easy to get done. So that's basically all the hardware you have for the kit. So pretty simple. The hardest part of the whole thing is probably taking out your ride command, if you have ride command, or uh, your paddle inside, and, and drilling the four holes on each side of the bumper. So uh, we'll go over here. These are the lights that are gonna go into the brackets. Again, all plug and play. You have your hardware for the lights to get hooked up to the uh, bracketry. And right here are your side panels. So these are what go onto the front of the bumper, and then the light just comes from the back, obviously, mounts right in there. So a pretty sweet setup. Um, and again, all plug and play. There is a really good install video that Thumper Fab filmed. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put a link in the uh, comments in the description down there for that. So um, I'd suggest watching that because it makes it super easy. So we're not gonna bother doing a full install on this, but uh, we will show you how it lines up and um, basically how it turns out at the end. So uh, we'll go ahead and get going on this thing. Okay, so very, very simple. Uh, this basically just goes right over top of your existing bumper. You're gonna use it as a template, mark these holes, go ahead and drill them, and you take this off, you're gonna insert your light, bolt it up, and then basically bolt, bolt, bolt this right back onto the bumper and then run your wire through and plug it into your uh, pulse bar on the machine. So uh, that is basically how nice and easy it is to get this done. Um, there are a few things that we'll go ahead and show you. Obviously you're gonna have to take out your hood and then uh, your ride command and where your switches are, run the wiring, it's plug and play, extremely simple. So yeah, so basically this slides all the way down into place. So uh, it will be perfectly lined up. Take that away and you'll be able to just drill your holes. Okay, so you're gonna have this spacer. One goes on each side. So uh, one driver's side, one passenger side. They're gonna go on the hole closest to the light here. So you're gonna have to kinda line it up get the spacer through and then walk this down to where your hole is and get that lined up just like that once you have everything drilled obviously line that one up first you can go ahead and install all the hardware and uh, this side will be done move over to the other side drill your holes do the same thing and then once we're done with that we'll go ahead and route the wiring up into the machine here get it plugged into the uh, bus bar and then put your switch in run your switch and then you're done so uh, when you do put these in they do have a washer and a lock nut on the back they do make everything really easy to get to this hole is the hardest to reach but 
still you, you got room back here without a problem. Now at this point, you can go ahead and tighten everything down on this side, and then uh, we'll move over to the uh, passenger side of the vehicle. Okay, so now once everything's bolted up on both sides, uh, you can feed your wires in somewhere neat. Uh, we got them right here. We have another light bar running down here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and take our hood off and then route the wires up to the bus bar. So on both sides of the vehicle and the interior, you're gonna find a spot where some of the factory wires run. Uh, we're gonna just follow that same spot up through here into the under hood region and then go ahead and plug it into one of our bus bars. Okay, so we routed our wires down on the passenger side. Uh, obviously they're different lengths. So the longer one is gonna go over to the driver's side here. Plug that in. And then we can go ahead and plug this one into the passenger side. Uh, once that's plugged in, you definitely uh, want to just secure this somewhere, um, maybe up on the grill or, or down here on the bumper out of the weather. And then uh, you can pull some of your slack back through. You'll have to go ahead and, uh, once you're up here, mount your relay. And then you have your pulse bar plug. And then this is the wiring for your switch, which is going to go right down through the firewall. And then we'll plug the switch in on the inside. Okay, so this vehicle has ride command. So you're going to have to remove these T40s and get the ride command screen up out of the way. And then uh, on the inside of the vehicle, you will go ahead and remove the push pins down here. And this will come forward so we can install our switch. On this vehicle, uh, we're, moving, we're removing the horn and relocating it up top. Uh, so we'll be able to put our light down here and uh, just feed the wires through. Okay, so we just went ahead and ran our wires and uh, just wanted to go ahead and test it. As you can see, those are bright. They're really, really nice lights. Very clean look. The wiring harness is perfect. Just plugs right in. Extremely easy install. If you really just have a drill, uh, an Allen key, and uh, you know your box wrench. So real nice kit. Switches ma switch matches the Ranger perfectly. And that's it. Now you can go ahead and reinstall the vehicle and uh, button everything up. Make sure uh, all your wiring's tied up nice and neat, zip tie, whatever you have to zip tie. And uh, that's pretty much it. Real simple install, really nice product. So uh, you can check them out on our website, teamfasmotorsports.com. And uh, we'll have a link down in the description to this exact light kit. And if you have any questions, please drop us a comment and uh, post them down below. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to the channel. We'll be bringing you more stuff uh, pretty much weekly. Thank you for watching.